where in the world can I go if I want to go on a world-class dig? I want to meet awesome rock hounds. I want to meet incredible vendors. I want I I I, I want to meet the the Crystal Collector. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Brian Major. Talk about Geode Fest 2018. That's the place you need to be going. Woo! What? The last weekend of September 2018. I'm headed north on Highway 61 North, just south of Hannibal, Missouri. I and my trusty Rockhound companion, Chase, we are headed to Keokuk, Iowa for the 14th annual Geode Fest. Folks from all across the region, even all across the country, converge for vendors and all those hollow treasures filled with crystals known as geodes. Well, Chase and I have arrived here in Hamilton, Illinois at Geode Fest, just right down the road. I can't wait to see what vendors, what collectors, what treasures await. Geode Fest 2018, Hamilton, Illinois. that crowd behind us. People cracking rocks, getting excited about the crystals. Let's go see what there is to do here at GeoFest 2018. Who said what? <laughs> no, we said we said if it was pretty, we would split it. So my intuition was right on. Well, you got you got your you got your citrine half. Yeah, look at that. That is that is just immaculate. Look at those. Wow. Phenomenal. This jam-packed, fun-filled three-day weekend event was very well organized. On Friday and Saturday, geode enthusiasts had their choice of two different dig sites, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. And then on Sunday, the third day of the event, one dig site in the morning. A great time was had by all. Well, we just left Geode Fest headquarters and they dismissed people in groups to go to the various collecting areas. Long line of cars ahead of us. It looks like a funeral procession, but uh, there's no sad faces today, folks. Nothing but glad faces, ready to find some treasure. We'll see you down in the pit. It is probably in the low 70s. Sun is starting to break through the partly cloudy sky. People are all over the pit. Treasures everywhere. Uh, just a fantastic day. We caught up with Tom from Chicago, that five-hour trip south. Tom, it's your third year we hear being here at Geode Fest. What's it been like so far in 2018? It rocks. Oh, that was original. <laughs> it was original. Tell us, uh, what places have you hunted in the, the past three days now? Three days, we've been to Cooper's, we've been to Jacob's, and uh, I think that was pretty much it, Cooper's and Jacob's. Uh, what are we hoping to find today? Some going for size? What are we going for? Uh, quantity, typically. gentlemen look who it is it is the major rock man himself the crystal collector brian major geode fest 2018 brian are we having a good time or what we're having a great time now where in the world are we right now 
We are in Keokuk at the Borrow Mine. At, now, why is it called the Borrow Mine? Is this where you come to get money? This is actually, this is, you know, that'd be great if we could get some money too. Actually, you can get some money for some of these geos, but all of this stuff in the background, there's a huge highway right off from here. And all this dirt was borrowed to help build the highway. Fantastic. And so we got rid of the, the overburdened and uncovered treasures and geodes galore. What? Crazy stuff. Let's go find some. When looking for geodes, it seems like all the rocks pretty well around you are rounded and you think, oh, that's a geode. So what you want to do is compare those rocks with other rocks of about the same size. You're looking for the ones that feel hollow, the ones that feel light. Uh, you can even sometimes shake them and sometimes you can hear stuff moving inside and you know then that there's a, a pocket. Doesn't mean that there's any crystals in it, but check for the rocks that are lighter. And so let's see. You know, one of the best things about coming to an event like this is all the amazing people that you meet from all over the country. You've got people that are have been collectors for 40, 50 years. you got people this is one of their first times ever doing anything like this. Let's go meet a few of those folks. Well, we may have the prize for the longest drive to arrive at Geode Fest. John, how far did you have to travel to get here? Yeah, it was about 1,400 kilometers or about 800 and change miles. Wow, so uh, you're from somewhere not in the United States, just yeah. a little bit further north. Where are you from? Yeah, from Ontario, Canada. Uh, I live uh, in the country like this where we're at, uh, about halfway between Toronto and Ottawa. Fantastic. Now, I heard a rumor that this was your first time at Geode Fest and maybe your first time doing what? She dragged me out <laughs> digging rocks. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So, are there any places to get geodes up in Canada? Uh, no, no, no. Up there, there's different types of rocks that they have up there, and she would know best. I'm not the educated one on that. So, awesome. Well, man, we're glad to have you down here in the lower 48, yeah. and hope you take some treasures back uh, north. Yeah, we're hoping we got some. We got a big bucket there, so we're hoping there's something in there. Fantastic. <laughs> or she is. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for visiting with us today. Thank you. And we caught up with Jim from Laurel, Iowa. How many hours away is that, Jim? That is about three hours away. So is it worth it to drive three hours to reach this incredible uh, opportunity? Definitely. This is the ninth year we've been here. Ninth year. So tell us, what do you do in your regular life? Um, I am a science teacher for Urbandale School District. Wonderful. Now, do you ever use your rock hounding hobby in the classroom, and how does that work? I do. I teach an earth science class, so I... Kids break rocks open. They learn where, how they formed, when they formed, where they formed. Can you tell us about your most prized find over those nine oh, years? Anything spectacular? Black calcite with white um, dog tooth crystals in it. Oh. Um, a red hematite geode. Um, some snowball geodes from over by Hamilton. Um, the only one I haven't found is a diamond dewdrop, and so I'm still looking for that. I Maybe today's the day. I hope so. And we caught up with Juliet and Phoenix. And uh, where are you guys from? Chicago. Wow, wow, wow. First timers? Have you been at Geode Fest before? This is our fifth or sixth year. Wow, coming back for more and more and more. What, what have you found so far? Anything exciting? Uh, a few things. We have a, a rock and mineral business, actually. So we take this back and then we let the kids crack them. Well, great. To give a plug for your rock and mineral business. Tell us about it. Uh, the Dragon's Horde. We do a lot of local shows around uh, Wisconsin, St. Louis, and Chicago. How do people find you? Uh, they can find us at thedragonshorde.com or on Facebook. Love it, love it, love it. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks. You load 16 tons. And we caught up with Michael, who's taking a little bit of a sweat break here, doing some back-breaking work. How's the weekend been so far, Michael? It's been great so far. Fabulous. Now, where'd you all come down from for the Geode Fest? I came up from Charleston, Illinois. How many hours away? Uh, about four hours away. Sweet. So what, what uh, locations have you guys hunted at and what have you found so far? We've done uh, Jacobs. Uh, got about a buck and a half out of there and some nice good rattlers. Done Amish North, Renards, and St. Francisville yesterday, last night. Got put up a couple of nice big ones out of there and then... We're here at uh, the Barrow Pit. Awesome. Now, have you anything cracked yet? or? Uh, only one. It came out of... Uh, where'd you pull that one out of? Amish North. Amish North. It was hollow. Had water on the inside. So, nice ring on it. Second year here. So, want to make it many more. First time here at Barrow Pit. Want to make it make, make more trips up here definitely every year. So, you can't really always tell from just the weight. But here's one really easy way to tell. It's got a little bitty hole in it. Look at that. We know for sure that's going to be a hollow geode. Look who we caught up to. It's Rockhound Rob. What's going on? And Rob, I heard that you have a special connection to this collecting site. Tell us about it. Okay, one time a farmer I know uh, come up to me at, a, at a, an event while I was selling that and uh, 
said, hey man, I know where you can pull up with your truck and just load up with geodes. So I came on down here and checked it out, get a hold of the landowners, and they let me in. And sure enough, there are geodes everywhere. And uh, I said, you make a lot of money off of uh, the, the geode fest if you let people in here to dig. So it's building Geode Fest every year just wow. by getting new sites. And, uh, so Rockhound Rob is a major player, a pillar of this Geode Fest. And man, we sure appreciate all your work, all your effort, and your and your passion for the hobby. Yeah, and they can find me on Facebook. Rob Young, I'll be the guy with the top hat. Gotcha. So Rob Young on Facebook, look for Rockhound Rob. Right, folks, if you come to Geode Fest, you might end up with the back of a truck looking something like this. This is some serious collecting. Not sure if this truck is legal anymore. Those poor tires, the suspension is groaning, it's screaming, uh, the brakes are gonna be squealing, but it is so worth it. Geode Fest 2018. Well, my trusty rock hunting companion, Chase and I just left the borrow pit and filled up our $20 bucket full of treasures. I tell you, the thing was loaded to the gills. We got a few hefty size pieces, but mostly palm size and quite a few what they call rattlers or shakers. One of the best uh, reasons to go to an event like this is not just to find the rocks, but to meet the people, the camaraderie of all those other fellow rock hounds. We met people from Canada and all across the Midwest sharing all kinds of stories and just friendship and our passion and our love for the hobby. We're headed back to headquarters. We're going to crack a few of these rocks, see what treasures are inside, and uh, meet a few more of the vendors, uh, and then heading south. Caught up with Jamie from Fulton, Illinois, the Kraken Machine. What have you been seeing this weekend at Geode Fest 2018? A lot of good ones in San Fran and South Amish. Gotcha. What's the most spectacular formation that you've seen all weekend? A big pink calcite, probably like that big. Uh, and that came out of? San Fran. Wow, wow, wow. All right, we just had a small rattler just got cracked, Chase, and let's do the reveal. Here we go, into the sunlight. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at the treasures inside. And we're catching up with Reed Brandt from South Carolina. Reed, we can't see it yet, but we got some treasures. Oh my goodness. This will be the best geode I've ever had in my possession. These uh, look fake. They almost kind of look like they're kind of painted. But absolutely. This is absolutely real. What do we have in there? What does it look like we got down in there? I don't know. It looks kind of like calcite and uh, some... I think some quartz is in there too. Um, some maybe you you tell me. Yeah. There's a mixture of min minerals down in there. And we caught up with Dennis from Fairfield, Iowa. Dennis, you got something very special in your hands. Can you hold it up there a little bit? I I do. This is a uh, quartz scepter from uh, Peterson Peak, uh, Washoe County, Nevada, and it's a beauty. Look at that. And this is uh, this locality is famous for its world-class scepters. And you can get amethyst, you can get citrine, you can get a slight, a light smoky like this. And uh, it's a beauty. With the ugliest Geo. How about the ugliest geo that you found? What would a Rockhound convention be without a contest? On Saturday afternoon, different contests were held, such as ugliest geodes for both kids and adults, as well as best geode for kids and adults. Wow, we saw some ugly and some beautiful geodes. Wow, it's so hard to believe that three days of geode hunting fun are already over. Chase and I had a great time meeting new vendors and making new friends from all across the country. We're already making plans for Geode Fest 2019. You should too. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you get a few moments, hop on over to our web store where we have great rock hounding t-shirts, sweatshirts with just that right message for the rock hound in all of us. Thanks.